Good morning, friends. Welcome to Leg Life, and welcome to day two of our Disney Fantasy Cruise Vlogs. Got up this morning, had breakfast at Cabanas. Sherry and the girls are up laying out in the sunshine, enjoying this beautiful, beautiful weather in the Caribbean. And honestly, I'm just kind of out walking around, enjoying the ship, seeing everything that I can. You'll see there's a few clouds outside, but there definitely are some bright sunny patches and it's actually pretty warm and beautiful. We have our first character meet and greet experience of the day, at least that I've seen around the ship. We have Buzz Lightyear right over here. That's kind of cool. And you can see the line, not too bad. There's probably 20 or 25 people in line to meet Buzz. Let's go check out some of the shops they have on board and the first one we're gonna go into right here is called White Caps. White Caps sells a lot of jewelry, they sell cologne, perfume, luxury items like watches and stuff. You can see they have brands like Caroline Herrera, Givenchy, Prada, so definitely some higher end brands but if you're looking to do some shopping or buy some gifts on board, White Caps always has great items. They've also got a few of the Dooney and Burke bags. You can see they have this one here, they have this one with the Mickey balloons. I really love that design and then they also have some of the Kate Spade collection I actually think Sherry would really like this one how much is this this one is 178 you can see lots of great Disney jewelry I actually really like this one with the Mickey anchor in the middle of this necklace and just you know this one is hundred and sixty dollars and it looks like a lot of the things kind of on this display are sort of in that price range here are more Dooney items you can see this is kind of that Disney cruise pattern and design they have that in a lot of different sizes styles and bags they also have the Alex and Annie items here the Disney Cruise you can see the parks collection I do know that a lot of you are collecting those I've heard from you guys in the comments and there are a lot of stores here on the Disney fantasy not just white caps we have sea treasures we have Mickey's main sale and we definitely have others as well but let's go check out sea treasures sea treasures is the store that has a lot of Disney Cruise branded merchandise honestly it's probably my favorite store on board you can see just a lot of things like this like I'm on cruise control all sorts of Disney Cruise line items and shirts and hats and pajamas and mugs and pretty much anything you could want with Disney Cruise Line on it they have even Tervis tumblers and obviously they have the Disney Cruise Line ears you can see they have these the ones that Sherry has and then they have these as well that has the rose gold anchor here in the middle their navy with the white and navy sequin bow and they actually have an entire collection of these with the lounge fly backpack as well fanny packs spirit jerseys shirts and a little bit of everything. And there's also a whole bunch of Star Wars Day at Sea stuff, but I'm actually not gonna show you the Star Wars Day at Sea merchandise until the Star Wars Day at Sea video. I wanna keep all of that stuff on one day. I really like this Tommy Bahama Captain Mickey shirt. You can see it's got the Captain Mickey pattern on there. And just so you know, this shirt is $130 for the Tommy Bahama Captain Mickey shirt. They also, of course, have these kind of classic, iconic Disney Cruise shirts with just a little logo up front and then Disney Cruise Line on the back. These are $29.99. They have them in short sleeve. They also so have them in long sleeve and the long sleeve has the Disney cruise down the sleeve and the long sleeve is a little bit more expensive the long sleeve is $39.99 and then right across the hall from Sea Treasures is Mickey's main sale let's go across and check out what they have you can see one section of Mickey's main sale has a lot of the princess items a lot of toys for kids adorable little like Disney cruise line shirts they even have fun games you can see Disney Park Monopoly that's awesome Disney Candyland lots of little different things in here Domino so if you forget to bring games on board or for some reason you get bored while you're on the ship you can always swing by here and pick up some games and then here's kind of the main part of Mickey's main sale this is where they have a lot of mugs they have ornaments they have keychains and magnets again more Tervis tumblers you can get your picture frames you can get your salt and pepper shakers you can get your little chip mugs if you forgot to buy it at the park also I really like this Disney fantasy specific mug that's really cool and here are all the Christmas ornaments obviously we're gonna get one but I'm not gonna pick one out until Sherry is with me that's kind of a decision we make together they do have a few Disney Cruise Line spirit jerseys you can see this one has red and white and gold it says sailor this one is blue and gold and on the back it says captain so kind of fun that they have those they also have the iconic Captain Mickey shirts and if you forget magnets for your doors you actually can buy some here they have some stateroom door magnet kits that you can buy that has everything you would need and they do have these Disney Cruise Line cover-ups they have some swimsuits they have some of these spirit jersey type sun shirts and of course they have all sorts of pins I always love looking through the Disney Cruise Line specific pins so you guys know we're definitely getting some of these if I had to guess we'll probably get the 2020 Disney Cruise Line pin I think we'll definitely get a fantasy specific pin, but I don't know if we'll get that one, or that one, or that one. Honestly, if it was up to Sherry, we would probably get 
all of these. And then here are some of my favorite items. This is all the Disney H2O bath products. You guys know how much I love these. They also sell the Disney Cruise robes right here, and the robes are $130. Here's some more Disney Cruise Line shirts back here that I haven't seen, and I actually think Sherry would love that shirt. I don't think she's seen this one yet. How amazing is this King Triton shirt? Nice muscles. Okay, that's hilarious. I don't think I've seen this before on Disney Cruise Line. They kind of have all these graphic tees, like a whole different section of these. I don't remember seeing these. Oh, I really like that one. Kind of the vintage distressed look with the Mickey sunset and the cruise line. Good job, Disney. This stuff is awesome. And then right outside of the stores here, we have another character experience. You can see Donald there looking all tropical in his beachwear. I love that. So in case you're wondering all of the things there is to do on board or if there's enough to do on board, you guys, let me show you a couple things. So this is the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. It shows everything that is going on on the ships, your dining reservations, all sorts of stuff with your account. But what I want to show you is right here. 230 results. That means there are 230 things to do today alone on board the Disney Fantasy. It tells you every time, every location things are going on. There is so much to do. And if you don't want to use the app, there is another option for you. Because you can come right up here to guest services and grab a daily navigator. And basically what the daily navigator is, they used to put these um, just, you know, in your rooms the night before, but trying to save paper. Now you can go to guest services, pick up the daily navigator, and basically it has everything for the entire day listed out. It has additional information as far as restaurant times, shows that are happening. So you can always get one of these if you don't want to use the app. Sherry Beth, how's your day going? Pretty good. It's the first time they've seen you on camera today. Hello. You just been hanging out by the uh, on the sun deck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Getting your drinks of the day. You guys, I've been on the cruise ship for way too long without this happening, so it's time. Soft serve ice cream, number one. One of my favorite events on Disney Cruise Line, which I'm just getting set up to watch, Jack Jack's Diaper Dash. That's right, you guys. Today, we're racing babies. Just so you guys know, the Diaper Dash happens right in the middle of the lobby, and so there's a lot of people like gathered around over there. However, one of the great places to watch it is actually on all of these balconies, looking down, because you can see everything from above. Gills Pub and we're doing 2000s music trivia. 2000 music trivia. Our team killed it. These guys are like experts. Fingers crossed. We're doing really good. You guys, 40 possible points and we got 37.5. We actually won the first time we've ever won a trivia thing or anything on any Disney cruise. This is what winners look like. So here's what we got for winning. Disney Cruise Line luggage tags. Confession, I was really hoping we would get the medals, but that's okay. So we're walking by the lobby, gonna head up to the pool deck to get some food for lunch. And the princesses are here in the atrium. Cinderella, Ariel, Belle, and Tiana. Look how cool that is. All of the girls admiring the princesses. We're gonna grab lunch here on the pool deck. We have Fillmore's favorites, the Tomater Grill, other places down there. The pizza place, Luigi's, is right down there. I don't know what I want today though. For lunch, I went with the grilled chicken sandwich, got some barbecue sauce on there, fries, sherry. Went with pizza. We got a table here by the water. The sun is shining, it is hot and beautiful. I accidentally went back to the soft serve ice cream machine again because they have banana ice cream. You guys know my love for banana ice cream. So back in the room, Sherry Beth just woke up from a nap. Sherry, how was your nap? Good. Your nap was good. I've just been hanging out, talking to some friends, and honestly, just kind of enjoying this at sea day. Like, this has been the best, the best, the best at sea day because there's just not a lot to do. And so, we haven't done a lot, which 
is what a day like today is perfect for. Tonight is the optional formal night on Disney Cruise Line. A lot of people are dressed up. We not really participating, mostly because we hate packing formal clothes. But you can see even the characters in the formal night outfits, look how amazing Minnie looks. We just got into the Walt Disney Theater for tonight's show, which is Aladdin. And we're super excited for the show because we've actually never seen this. This will be the first time seeing Aladdin on any Disney ship. We got Desi down there, Sherry's there. So excited to see Aladdin. Friends, we are in Enchanted Garden for dinner tonight. Uh, we just got in. Take a look at it. The ceilings are pretty low. It kind of feels like you're in an outside gazebo. There's all sorts of vines and stuff on the ceiling here. You can see the main entrance is down there. They've got some really awesome booths here. Lots and lots of tables, as with every Disney restaurant. And here we are, right here. Here's what the menu in Enchanted Garden looks like. You can see appetizers, cucumber garden rolls, ahi tuna and avocado tower, the North Atlantic lobster ravioli, which is definitely what I'm gonna get. And then we have soups and salads, tomato soup, cream of green asparagus soup. They have the bread service, which is a multi-grain country roll with chickpea garlic puree. Over here, the main course, sea scallops, sea bass, roasted chicken, pork tenderloin, prime rib. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks so good. And then there's vegetarian options and some lighter note offerings. This is actually a pretty good menu. For appetizer, both Sherry and I got the lobster ravioli. It's got like chunks of lobster there on top. It looks really good. And for the soup and salad course, we got the wedge salad. Sherry and I, again, got the exact same thing. Uh, it looks pretty good, very different than a normal wedge. Basically, it's just like kind of some romaine hearts tomatoes, croutons, dressing, and cheese on top. For dinner tonight, got the prime rib. You can see there's potatoes, root vegetables under there. But also on the menu, they had the sea scallops. And I love scallops, so had to get those as well. Uh, thought I was just getting the scallops, but they ended up bringing the entire scallop meal. Sherry, because she's a copycat, did literally the <laughs> exact same thing as me. Here is the dessert menu, warm sticky date pudding, chocolate garden tort, orange yogurt cake, chocolate brownie sundae, ooh, a southern style pecan tart, that sounds good as well. And then over here they have the specialty drinks and the adventurous after teenies. For the second night in a row, I went with the sundae, of course, Sherry, what did you go for? Orange yogurt cake. Orange yogurt cake, that looks pretty good, it's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Look at Maddie's though. Maddie ordered, wait, what is this? A raspberry boost. Lemon raspberry. Lemon raspberry. Uh, that looks awesome. That is definitely the best looking dessert we got tonight. One of the things here at Enchanted Garden is you can actually see these lights transform. You saw a little bit of that. When we first came in, they were like closed up, sort of flowers. And then throughout the evening, they open up as well as the skies up here change. You can see the stars. It's kind of like in the garden, transforms from day into night. And here's a Mickey fountain right in the middle. And then right outside of Enchanted Garden is the Vista Gallery. They have all sorts of the Disney paintings that you can buy here. Every one of these ships has something like this. Sherry and I had talked about getting something like this once we finished our Grand Slam, but I don't know that we're going to. We are coming to start over here with Team Flock of Seagulls. This, this is your first challenge. <laughs> name the song, name the artist. Hey. We're coming back over here now to Team Boy George. This is your next challenge. Name the song, name the artist. So the winners of NT's Music Challenge will be determined at the end of Top Pop. Okay, you guys, it is like super late and we just got back to our stateroom door and um, I'm gonna tell you a story, but first you just need to, <laughs> you need to see how covered in magnets our door is. We just got back into our room as well and here is the towel animal. I couldn't tell what it was from the front because it just got Sherry's glasses, but when I looked from up top, totally a lobster. Look at that lobster tail. That is pretty cool also. 
these two are mine. So what you just saw tonight as we were out and about was we went to 80s music trivia <laughs> and at some point in the night 80s music trivia turned into like 80s music dance party. Right, so like the <laughs> trivia ended with a tie and so the two teams were supposed to come out and like have a dance off and then whichever team won the dance off like won the trivia and they never stopped the music and so people just kept, kept dancing. dancing. It was so much fun. It we had a, had a blast, of course, fun singing along to all those songs that everybody knows and loves. Mm -hmm. So here's the story on those magnets. We just got back to our room. As you guys saw, our entire door is like, there's not an inch of our door <laughs> that is not covered in magnets. <laughs> so at our Orlando meet and greet, we met Auburn. She came out and met us. She actually hung out for a while afterwards. We had to talk to her. It was so, so fun. And she said that her and her family are going to be on this cruise. So she's here with her mom, Sarah, and her sister, Emma. So they're on this cruise. Got to meet them earlier today which was mm -hmm. great Auburn had said that uh, her mom was gonna put some magnets on her door or her mom asked like what stateroom we were in that's a magnets for us and then earlier tonight Auburn texted me and just said something like my mom murdered your door or something like that and I'm <laughs> and like, you're like uh, what, what? what? Uh, we got back she murdered the door it's 11 45 p.m. and like everybody around here is sleeping but we started laughing. We literally laughed out loud out when we saw loud. our door. We saw our door. And we actually feel bad because like one of the staterooms just on the hall like peeked out and looked like, who is that? We like like who's laughing? I'm like, sorry, but our door is hilarious. <laughs> so like covered every inch. So thank you so much. Yeah. We've actually gotten to chat with them a bunch today, which has mm -hmm. been a ton of fun. And that's one of the things, I don't know, Sherry, uh, let's talk a little about this. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of viewers on this cruise. Yep. Chat with us, stop us, say More hi. More than any other cruise before more than we expected for sure. Right. Sherry, what's that been like for you? As, um, some, as somebody who like is a little more introverted for sure. Right. It's been fun because I, again, like I like to know who's on the other side of the camera. So for me, it's like talking to this big faceless crowd. And so the more of those faces that I can actually like put a face on is like good for me. I that, think. It's actually been one of the highlights for me of this entire cruise. Like I think on a seven night cruise, I don't feel the pressure to like get everything done quickly. Right. You know, so I feel like there's time that I feel like I can stop and hear your guy's story and talk right. to you and chat. And I love that so much. That's the best part to me of YouTube uh, is getting to, like Sherry said, put a face to you guys. So that's been a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. But to come back and see our door like that, like <laughs> literally we laughed out loud to oh the gosh. point that we disturbed our neighbors. Sorry. So if you're one of our neighbors and you're watching this video, I'm sorry. Like <laughs> it was too funny not to laugh at. But you guys, that is where we're going to end day two on the Disney Fantasy, our first at sea day. Sherry, how was your day? It was good. It was relaxing. Yeah? Yep. I got to lay in the sun for a couple of hours. I took a nap. It was great. We didn't do a ton of stuff today because we just wanted to relax. Right. But much more to come. Tomorrow, day three, is another at sea day. Yep. Definitely have a few things I want to do tomorrow. But we are really, really loving the ship. We're loving the people. We're loving the crew. We're loving everything about it. It's been a relaxing trip. Okay. And you guys, we are still just getting started. Yeah. We have so much more to do on this cruise. As always, we love you. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of our Leg Life community. And we will see you on the next video.